What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris Wards from last weekend on all three of my characters. So last weekend Trials map was Widow's Court once again. So based off of last week it looks like they're rotating the same six maps for Trials. Um, we've only seen the same six so far. Uh, we had a repeat of Burning Shrine and now it's been a repeat of Widow's Court so it looks like they're only focusing on these six maps, but I really think they should include some of the other maps, some of the day one maps that came with the game, because uh, I think some of them would be really good for trials as a game mode. So that's hopefully something they do in the future. But anyways, let's get into my rewards for this week. So starting off on my first character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest, we ended up picking ourselves up once again another summoner along with the etheric light and four emotes of light and I've already gotten summoner more than three times already so I already have all the elemental burns on them so I went ahead and dismantled that one. Going back to the reef to visit brother Vance for the tier packages we end up getting the usual in the stone and bronze tier. For the silver tier we get in no land beyond sniper rifle and in the gold tier we end up getting nothing pop up on the screen besides all the materials. So I head back to the Postmaster to see what I ended up getting. Because I believe my primaries were full in my inventory. So I ended up getting another primary and this time I got the Scholar. So that was kind of unfortunate. I think getting any of the primaries from the gold tier is kind of useless. Especially if you can open up the uh, lighthouse chest, so yeah. Then going into my second character on my warlock from the lighthouse chest. This time we ended up getting once again another summoner. And at least this time we got the purifier robes exotic chest piece for the warlock. Along with the etheric light and mozo light. So that was, that was not as bad, at least I got an exotic out of it. But still, once again, we got another summoner. And I believe this one ended up being Ark, but like I said, I already have all the uh, burns on them. So I ended up dismantling that once again. Going back to the Reef for Brother Vance for the tier packages, we end up getting Motzlite and uh, Passage Coins from the first two. And uh, that guy rudely interrupts the video. I'm just kidding. But uh, we get the usual stuff. And then from the Silver tier, no exotic at that time, but for the Gold tier... Once again, my inventory was full, so I believe I got another primary once again. And this time we ended up getting the Jewel of Osiris, I believe. Yeah, we got the Jewel of Osiris, so another disappointing gold tier. I really want some good armor pieces from the gold tier with good stat rolls. That's, that's what I'm hoping for right now. But finally, on my last character for my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest, we end up getting a Messenger this time along with the universal remote so another exotic at least I didn't get another summoner but still I have a decent amount of messengers as well still looking for that solar jewel of Osiris that's what I really want from this chest and then finally going back to brother Vance for the last time for the week uh, we end up getting passage coins motes of light in the first two for the silver no exotic once again and finally for the gold tier we get Another infinite theorem once again. So, pretty unlucky week for me. At least we got a couple exotics or a few exotics out of all the runs. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!